Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and in this video, we're going to be making our contacts list even more modular by creating a contact listing element. And this contact listing element is going to be an individual list item. Now, what that means is that we'll be able to use that list item on its own separately just by simply passing in the parameter values that we need, or we can use it within the contact list itself. So let's get going on that right now. So what we wanna do now is create another new element. I'm gonna go ahead and select the root of our project because our current context list uh, item is actually saved in the root of our project. We'll wanna change that eventually, but now it, it's totally fine. And so we can make a new file and it's just gonna be contact.html. Okay, and inside of contact, we can actually paste some stuff from context list. I, I like to just sort of, you know, save time wherever I can by, um, you know, uh, using things as a boilerplate. So polymer is contact and then close that off like so. Okay, and now let's come in here to our template. I'm gonna get rid of all of this stuff. We can always paste it back in here, but I'm just gonna leave this blank and we can just say hello for now. I'm also gonna get rid of the styles in here. And I'm going to have the ID just be contact. Okay, and we're still going to be importing polymer.html, just like so. And actually, we need this to not say contact. It needs to be hyphenated. So we can do something like contact listing. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and just have this be the element name instead of just contact, like so. And I'm actually going to modify this contact.html to say contact listing.html. Okay. So we have contact listing.html and contact list. Now, if you remember going back to this Google map element, we were able to use another element with inside of this simply by importing it the same way that we did in our index.html. And so you can see here, it's just importing this Google map marker, which is in itself is its own element along with some of these resizable behaviors, Google API sort of stuff here. So to use our contact listing element inside of our contact list, we simply just have to take this uh, import statement that we have here. We can copy it and paste it below the import polymer. And we can change this text to say contact hyphen listing dot HTML. So now that we're importing contact hyphen listing, we can now come here and we can use contact listing inside of our templates. So we can say contact listing and close it off like so. And let's come back here. We can refresh and we're not seeing anything, but if we come to inspect this element, scroll down here, you can see that we do have our contact listing here. In fact, let's go ahead and come in here and throw a div inside of this template and we'll just have this be hello, like so. Now when we refresh, we see that we do have this hello here. So we're now ready to start sort of moving some of this stuff into our contact listing item here. So one thing we can certainly move in is a lot of the CSS. So uh, we had the anything that's sort of having to do with an individual listing uh, we have here, like so. And we can go ahead and just pull this out of here. So the only thing we're really keeping is this list style none. Now let's go ahead and contact listing. I'm gonna paste these styles in here. And I'm actually gonna give this a class of listing wrapper. Now listing wrapper is gonna get some of this stuff that uh, these list items had here before. So we can change any of these that had an li to listing wrapper. And I'm still gonna hold out on this border top one that might be heading back to the uh, parent element. And now let's come to our contact list and let's grab some of this stuff in here. I'm actually gonna pull out everything except for the list item itself and I'm going to put it in where we have our hello, like so. 
And I'm, like I said, with this list item L1, L1, I kind of want to keep this in the list itself because uh, this is really adding the border, right? And you don't necessarily want a top and bottom border on something if you only have one of them. So if we want to use one of these contact listings by itself, we don't want this border top on it. So we can just leave that in here and say if, you know, if there's a listing and there's multiple ones at a border top. So as you can see here, we can sort of pick and choose the styling of a list versus an individual listing. Okay, so now we're repeating and we have this contact listing. Uh, we have all of our data. We really have everything except for the data is sort of here and here. Now we can approach this a couple of ways. Now we could pass in the entirety of the data or we could pass in uh, the items individually. What we can really do is come in here and essentially throw in this contact listing like so. And let's go ahead and add some properties. If you remember in our hello world, we added property simply by coming in here and under the is polymer object here, uh, we, we had a uh, property so we can simply say properties I guess spell that correctly. Okay, and this is going to be an object. And we're going to have name, which is a string. We're going to have email, which is a string. And we're going to have image, which is also a string, like so. Now we can actually use, instead of item dot, we can use name, image, and email, like so. So now this is going to be referencing these properties when it looks here. So it's going to hit this template. It's going to say, give me the source. It's going to be looking to the property that gets passed into this individual contact listing. Now let's go ahead and make sure we add those properties to the contact listing element. We can do so simply by saying name is equal to, and then we're going to pass in, if you remember, it was item dot name. So now that we've gotten this far, let's make sure this is all working as expected. So if we come to our page and refresh, you can see that we're having all these listings, Scott, Tim, Ben, Bobby. It's hitting that contact listing element and it's passing the value Scott into the name. And then that contact listing is then saying, hey, I have a name. Let me output it right here. Uh, because it's not getting the other things, it, they're not showing up. But since we know that that's at least working, let's go ahead and uh, we can paste this in here as name. I'm actually going to space these out on their own lines to make this a little bit more readable here. Um, let's do one more. Okay, and so we had email was equal to item dot email and image is equal to item dot image. Now if we save this, refresh our page, you can see that all of our glorious data is now showing up once again and we have this even more modular than we ever had it before. Now the benefit to something like this is now if we want to go ahead and use a single one of these contact listings somewhere else, let's say maybe uh, you're on a different page and it's Tim's page, right? And you would select this, that way you could use his contact item uh, over and over again and it's going to maintain that HTML structure and style that we had embedded into contact listing. So we've now broken this out into a couple of custom elements and it's pretty sweet here. Uh, every single time we add more to the data, it's going to be referencing a whole listing of other elements. We can come in here in our inspect and see unordered list full of list items filled with contact listing, which is all of our data. So this is absolutely perfect. This is just what we want. And it's a nice foundation for going forward for making something a little bit more dynamic. So in the next few videos, we're going to take this in a way that shows you how to work with this a little bit more, add some actions so this can actually do something other than just sort of sit here and look nice. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or hit us up at Twitter or Facebook. We love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.